and I think that the the mindset about Greeks and in academia for so long has reinforced that, that everything is so of a particular way that it's hard to take those glasses off and see it as it is. Um, I mean, I didn't really come to it with it. Like, I didn't really read it with any specific preconceived notions, so the things that popped out to me were just the things that popped out to me, and specifically in Medea and in multiple readings of Medea, because um, that's one of my it's one of my favorites. And uh, future dream roll. I'm old enough. <laughs> I'm not old enough yet. <laughs> I'll wait that one out. But dear God, such a good part. I definitely don't think I read them from a director mindset at that time. Um, I mean, my identity as a director evolved over my time at college and particularly my time outside of college too. I think by the t when I where I, the point that I was at when I started reading them, I wasn't fully in the mindset of being a director. It was still something that was secondary to me. I mean, I definitely read them as plays, but I don't think I viewed I thought of them as visually as I necessarily would if I were to reread them now and think about them from a from a directorial perspective. Um, I think I read them slightly more as literature at the time, and especially because I was reading so much at that at one time and, and reading through them more quickly. I, th I think I, I, I think I read them more um, like books or stories than, than as something that's performed. Um, for sure.